Yeah, yeah. get too comfortable to me, you know, to me not leave the wait, studio wait, tonight. Wait. You, you want, want, you want to take me, Miss Jolly? What? I think she jolly me, baby. Ouch! <laughs> Mad vibes! All right, ladies and gentlemen, before me even start, I definitely want to say welcome to the Lion TV show. Enough vibes. Good to be here. Thank you guys likewise, for popping likewise, in yes. and things like that. Now, I want you guys to give your name starting from my right to my left. They say, they say ladies first, but you don't know, so we have been nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have been nice, but we have to keep it true still. You see, ladies before. before beauty. Okay, ladies yes. before. <laughs> age before beauty. You can't go and lie. Oh, oh. Age? No, she get to back. Well, no, age see, before beauty. Yes, it you look good for me, age, you know, me not to see it, but me look rather well for my age. You know what I'm saying? And so, I'm yeah. I'm not younger than me, older than him, you know. So, you know what Well, anyway, to the world, Lady Stiff, a.k.a. Mr. Stiff, seen. We had a business from a long time, from the early 80s, since you hear some of the old songs, them, the wine right. up and the you know, left your condom and the rough wine, and you know, yes, it's see. a long time we're in this. See, we what? take a break from it and now we enter back the room, see? Hold on, what, what the name go? Lloyd. No, no, not the government, the stage yes, name. Me, give me vibes. <laughs> Mr. Stiff. <Stiff's laughs> <laughs> vibes to keep it still. Yes, sir. We're grown, we grown people on Lion <laughs> TV show. 100. Let me make something absolutely clear. This is my very good friend. He already has a Mr. Jolly, Mrs. Jolly. And I have <laughs> yeah, a we all know Mr. That. Jolly. But with the, vibes, the, the vibes is nice. The vibes is really good. And I've like known that. Lloyd for a couple of years and we did a, a tune to, before called Get to Cry and it worked out pretty good and we've been working together ever since. True that. Nice. Really so yeah. people that don't get it twisted. <laughs> all right. Love the vibes of Mr. Boat to you. The combination and everything is fine. Now, my question to each and every anyone want to jump on it first. How did you get into the business and decide to do the music? First, I, I know probably, you know, each and every one may start it off first as a solo thing before you guys duel or whatever. But how did you guys, you know, what inspired you guys to get into, you know what? I think I have the voice or I think I could write the lyrics. Let me do this. Okay, I started off, um, well, I started off at my brother's studio. I have an older brother named Sir Thomas. Bra That's where I started off, in the studio, but actually rec with recording. But where I actually started um, and singing. Where I actually started, like, singing around sound system and getting out there to the shows. It was on a sound called Vital 2000 on President Street in Brooklyn. Good man, like Knight Rider and Screeching Dan and all those Stand people. Up. Yes. The Vital crew. Big up to all the Vital crew, President Street, Massive Crown, <laughs> Massive East Flatbush, Flatbush, One Love. And the Vital Crew, yes. So I started with them in Brooklyn and um, just singing songs. And what I did was I, I learned a lot of tune with Sanchez knew. So by knowing all the stuff that Sanchez knew, that means I'm, I could have sing pun anything. My, my head kind of aged since then. You see. <laughs> but I used to, I could have, they used to say give her that. any rhythm. You see. It, and you jump but I me Sanchez and it was done. You see. It. Yeah. You Talk see, to me, you Papa. See. Well, me, like you said, age before beauty, you know, no? start way back in Jamaica still, you know. My idol, bef even before I me find the love for reggae music, me used to listen like Dana Summers, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, um, a lot of country and western and stuff like that, and then I start listening to Dennis Brown, you know what I mean, a man called Jacob Killer Miller, you know what I'm saying, all them men that were great and gone. Late. You know what I'm saying, when everybody that crazy about Bob Marley, them two men that was my idol, then Bob Marley fall a third, third, you know what I mean, but, you know say the world world knows say Bob Marley the greatest thing, see him? You know what I mean? But from that now, I start listening to some dance. I'll cast up my uncle in music card, coming out and play some Gemini and some stir phonic. I'm say blows and skirt. I listen to Johnny Ringo and Welton Ira because I love the slack thing. You know, you know yes, see. But the way them man they do slackness, you know what I'm saying? Them do it in a comical manner. You know, so yo, I start patronize after them and stuff like that. And, you know, there is. So, you like started the off from the business. Here. Yeah. Okay. So, definitely go from when you guys started and things like that. So, by that stage, you decide that you know what era you was going to go into the reggae music? Not quite, you know, because after that, I came to this country in 1980. We had a link up with some of my school friends. Um, we had a little crew named the Space Warriors. The leader was um, my brethren, Dead and Gone, Dark Vader. He was my wickedest and most competitive rival in the group. You know what I mean? One week him win because every week we clash. Right. You know what I mean? So and one week him build, win. Build exactly. you more and you learn. Right. right. And we, we got so good, you know what I mean? We had a, we own sound system in the 50s called Megaforce. 
who was a small son, but yo, any son will come over, we get, 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 get trampled. Why? Yeah, because lyrically inclined stuff okay, like that, you know okay. what I mean? But yeah, so after that we are dead and gone, you know what I mean? The first tune of my voice, um, I was discovered by um, this producer named Jassy. And I was doing on a black party, um, was doing a tune named Jamaican Girl, which is written by Dark Vader, but you know what I mean? I was doing it as a tribute. Right. You know, and to tear up the whole place. And um, then I was, at the same time, AIDS became very rampant. And I was doing the No Left Your Condom. And right. See, and you see the whole place are going away. So you so have you say, my youth, you want to come to the studio? See. And I said, all right, cool. And this is how I start. What about you? My, my start with reggae music? Yes. My start with reggae music, um, like I'd have, to, I'd have to say it started in the studio at Summers with my recording. But I love being around the sound system. So from, from P vibes. Street to going to different sounds well, until I made my way around by the name to... Of Donna um, v, which is Studio and Artist. Donkey. He took me over to um, Studio One. And that's where I recorded Frenemies and Bye Bye Rebel. And, um, you know, from been there. singing, just been singing ever since. Good. I like that. Now, as part of your family, you say you grew up right there, actually within that music era. Also, you get it adapted to that. Now, my next question to you guys. A lot of times, performing and things like that, what type of, what I should say now, um, image you guys portray in the music you have people like you have been the doctor you know you got um so you're the nurse so I, well actually <laughs> i am a nurse I am actually a nurse. she's a nurse but, in real but, life I really yes. yes okay a day nurse and um not a night one but i like to night i would one call myself um, night one she home. <laughs> uncle, uncle fear mr jolly you know yes <laughs> i i i title myself the queen of inspirational culture i love my culture i don't do anything outside of like i don't love tuna reality tuna and so forth stuff like that you know things people can relate to every day so inspirational culture okay good also all right me no me the chef you know what i mean you have to learn to cook for everybody you know what i mean i can give you the clash tune i can give it well as a matter of fact when i start out i used to clash you know what I mean? Then when I start recording, you know what I mean? My producer them lock me down as a girl DJ. That's why you hear the wine up and the rough wine and the boom boom fatty and all them something there. Mm -hmm. And them never want and them surprise all when them release the the bad talk tune and the gun punk cut. Them never know say it'll get so much um um rave because you see my style them always different from day one. Right. You know what I mean? So my DJ for everybody. Like you say, when we link up a couple of years ago, about three years ago, we do the get a cry combination. And um, it went over well, you know, and that was, a, that was a, you know, talking about basically what's going on in the ghetto and the politician, them come and smile with you every day when they want to vote and after the vote, we can't even walk past them. Yeah, see them. It see? happened back when right. I here just exactly. the same way. Too. Same thing, I go on a fire and I go on a yard, see? And then a couple of years later, you know what I mean, we link up again and we did, actually did a Christian song. You know what I mean? We share whole and whole hostage on the CD, you know, you know what I mean? At the boom tune, that man, the, the boom CD. tune. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about that later on. And then man. we link up with this one. As a matter of fact, and the, the way we link up with this one was funny. She had a, a tribute to Dennis Brown, you know what I mean, a few months back. And she said, Lo, lady, man, this song, we want to do a song, tribute to Dennis Brown. And this thing, I bother me, bother me. I'm a, I'm a think, but who can do the combination? And you just come to mind. I said, what now? I said, all right, I'm going to send you the rhythm. I'm going to write something for you. I said, when? This weekend. I said, Jesus, I'm going to go yeah, two days. Two days. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to say, all right. Artist, an artist. You yeah. Know, you see? And I'm going to come up because the, 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 the lyrics wasn't the problem. It's the melody. It's the melody too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to come up with that, man. I mean, I met my special person, hear it, and she said, yeah, and she like it. Ray, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then, we go on, we do it on stage and the people are feeling it. But not even because, you know, sometimes you're in front of a crowd, you know. You're, you're, we you're, actually you're, did you're it kind together of stumble. in the car for right. the first time, yes. right? Yes, we yes. We sit down, we're practicing at the car, we're practicing at the car. Yeah. By the time we reach on stage, we forget. We just, we just play it off because the chorus. Because it never did I work in the car, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't working in the car, but we got no. on the stage at work. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And the people, them love it. Them all are talk. I, it's the vibes that you what guys you know? give off to, you know. Them all are things that are... Really, special consort. You see it, <laughs> but you know what? Then it's just the image and the vibes that the both of you have. The combination, the two th 
torn up to get a clash. Yeah, people may have that vice, but you don't know it's a music and a business. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Mad vibes. No. My next question to you guys. What about publishing out any CDs out, any album is out or anything like that as yet? 